Hello everybody, my name is Nomad and welcome to episode 20 of my Ultimate Moe's Guide series and today I'm going to be breaking down Moses Bear Mother Purple Skill Tree. Now this is Moses newest skill tree, came out with the Arms Race DLC uh, and every, every other Vault Hunter got their own too. And yeah, uh, this time around Moe's got the Bear Mother skill tree that's all focused on status effect damage, chance, elemental bonuses and iron cub duration that also affects iron bear as well so yeah just like my previous skill tree breakdown videos we're just going to break down each of the skills what i think they're going to be useful for what i have used them for and what sort of builds you can most likely get out of this so without any further ado let's just get straight into the video now right off the bat let's start off with the tier one skills and we have biofuel big surplus and really big guns Biofuel, what it says on the card, is basically health regeneration for Moe's and Iron Bear, provided they ignite an enemy. Now, what does that mean? Basically, ignite just means you set an enemy on fire. So right at the bat, you can imagine grenades with high status effect chance, same goes for weapons, things like the Firestorm, the Hellfire, and any other fire weapons that have a very high status chance will work very nicely for this skill. And yeah, it just keeps Iron Bear alive, it's an alternative form of sustain means you don't longer have to put excessive points into vampire should choose to not rely on grenades instead if you much rather use your weapons and do shooty shooty set enemies on fire biofuel is a very nice alternative for that and yeah it's always nice to have alternative forms of sustain and that's what we have here moving on from that we have big surplus now this skill is absolutely busted in its current state right now and the best way i can describe this is to basically think of it as skagden but three points purple tree and it applies to literally anything so unlike skag den which is only incense on splash big surplus is basically just bonus incense for any weapon regardless if it does splash or not as long as moses action skill is cooling down now on the card it says 15 percent of gun damage but it gets mayhem scaling which means it gets the times 31 damage scaling which you can probably imagine is absolutely absurd so yeah you could basically combine this skill with a rocketeer class mod for example get in iron bear jump out of iron bear and now you have about two minutes of insane damage and i have a build in the works that i'm going to be posting at some point soon so if you're new to the channel and you're keen on seeing how this build plays out do consider subscribing it'll be out in a few days so definitely stay tuned for that but that's basically big surplus in a nutshell absolutely insane skill um, and honestly, if you're in purple tree, I highly recommend picking this up for a three points You're getting an insane amount of damage. There's no reason not to pick that moving on from big surplus We have really big guns now. This is an iron bear skill gives 20% damage Nothing too crazy nothing too bad if you're in purple tree and for an iron bear build I highly recommend picking this up nothing else to say about this So we'll quickly move on to the tier 2 skills and in tier 2 we have double time We have harmonious havoc and explosive fury now Double time, thank god, we finally have movement speed. 12% though, not the best, not the worst, but for 3 points, and the fact that this build is all about keeping Iron Cub and Iron Bear up as active as possible, it's nice to have a persistent movement speed buff. Obviously I would have minded this skill got its movement speed doubled to maybe give most 24% movement speed, but we take what we get, 12% is what we have, and it's fine. So yeah, movement speed for having Iron Cub active, it's nice to have. And it's three points, so there's no reason not to pick it. Moving on to that, we have Harmonious Havoc. Now, what this does, increase gun damage for each weapon, shield, and grenade that matches the element of her gun. Now, whether or not this is a good thing or a bad thing, really depends on the type of content you are doing. Now, I don't always suggest running the same element for each and every single one of your weapons, just because sometimes you might come across enemies to have different types of elemental immunity, so it might hurt in that regard. But overall, if you are using, you know, a single element, for example, cryo or radiation, which is quite popular nowadays, if you might as well get all those uh, weapons that you have that are all the same element, you might as well pick this skill up. At the end of the day, you're getting at least 40% damage for, ma for matching all four elements on your guns, and an extra 10% if you decide to have your shield and grenade match that element too. So it's nice to have, and yeah. Obviously for most meta setups, it wouldn't be the best skill, just because if you're playing the meta, you're going to be having different elements. So I really don't see this skill being that useful unless you're fully using the same element. But yeah, that's about my thoughts on it. It's an average skill, nothing too crazy, but at the same time, it's not complete trash, which is good to have in a skill in a tree like this. So 
that's our Monu's Havoc. The next skill we have is Explosive Fury. Now this is once again a Moe's and Iron Bear skill, and what it does is it gives Moe's and Iron Bear increased status effect damage and status effect chance. Now this skill is nice, synergizes nicely with Biofuel with the Ignite chance, so obviously if you're increasing your chances to ignite an enemy, or just irradiate, or corrode, or electrocute any of those status uh, effects, it's a very nice skill to have to boost that, especially if you're doing a dot based build, or just a build that focuses heavily on elements. So 3 points, and it gives you 27% chance, and 15% damage, so it's nice. Moving on for that, we have Fired Up. Now this skill is very nice, it's a fire rate skill and it affects Moe's and Iron Bear and it basically triggers whenever you apply a status effect to an enemy. So that could be any element and you get 5% fire rate the last 12 seconds and it stacks up to 5 times. So best case scenario, you get 25% fire rate for 12 seconds and yeah, it's just a very nice skill and it helps a lot especially if you're doing a build that focuses around fire rate and increasing your status effect and status effect chance, the more bullets you're firing, the higher your chance to proc a status effect is. So you can see how this skill ties in with the whole theme of this tree. So that's what we have here. Now moving on to the tier three skill, we have two tier four skills, Nitrotranium Engines and Never Gonna Give You Up. Now, Nitrotranium Engines is an Iron Bear skill and it helps Iron Bear get increased fuel and an action skill cooldown rate. Now for five points, you get 25% extra fuel and 20% action skill cooldown rate. Both of those are very nice, and for 5 points this far into the tree, it's very nice to have. Once again, if you're focusing on a build that focuses on maximal uptime for Iron Bear and Iron Cub, this skill is a no-brainer to max out. Moving on from that, we now have Never Gonna Give You Up. What this does is that whenever Moe's or Iron Bear applies a status effect to an enemy, Iron Bear gains fuel. So think of this sort of like the Raging Bear class mod's passive effect, but in a skill, and it's more focused around status effect and not just killing enemies. So you can see how this skill ties in nicely with this whole tree because you're applying status effect and your tree is boosting status effect application chance. Obviously if you're specking into certain skills like Explosive Fury, which we went over a little bit ago, you can see how this skill can tie in nicely with it. So for 5 points, you get 25% fuel returned. Obviously this has diminishing returns and yeah, but overall in my testing, it's very nice, plays nicely and the diminishing returns aren't felt as significantly as other skills that have things like diminishing returns. So that's the tier 4s out of the way, and we have 3 tier 5 skills, Feature Creep, Limit Break, and Superior Firepower. Now, Feature Creep, Iron Bear gains increased damage, damage resistance, single point, you get 18% damage, and 45% damage resistance. Now, once again, if you're using an Iron Bear build, this skill's a no-brainer pick, and for a single point, why the hell not? <laughs> so that's Feature Creep. The next skill we have is Limit Break. Now, whenever Moe's gains increase action to cooldown rate, whenever she or Iron Bear inflicts a status effect on an enemy. Now, this skill is a bit iffy in my opinion, and honestly not the best to use, for a few reasons. One, you already have multiple skills that help you with your fuel economy and your fuel capacity, not to mention any strong Iron Bear based build will almost always have Grizzled, which is a tier 1 skill that gives actions a cooldown on kills in Moses Demolition Woman Tree. That skill on its own is more than enough to carry an Iron Bear build with cooldown, you don't really need this. And considering this is only three point, oh, considering this is three points this far down into the tree, I wouldn't say it's worth picking up. So that's just that's my thoughts on that. Obviously, you also have the Guardian rank topped off. So when you think of it, you have Grizzled, you have topped off, and you have skills that giving you fuel and just damage reduction, so you stay alive longer. This skill sort of loses its value, and that's why I wouldn't recommend picking this skill in most builds. There might be some situations with it, but for now. It wasn't really, it wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's optimal to pick it. Moving on from that, we have Superior Firepower. Now, whenever Moza Iron Bear inflicts a status effect on an enemy, they gain increased status effect damage. Now, once again, if, once you, if you're using a high elemental build, this build, this skill will work very nicely for said build. 5 stacks, 20% damage per stack, and it lasts 8 seconds. You're getting basically 100% damage for 8 seconds. Any dot build will appreciate this significant boost, and yeah, it's a no brainer pick. <laughs> Moving on from that, we have the Fat Capstone skill, running on fumes. Whenever Moza Iron Bear ignites an enemy, Iron Bear does not consume fuel for a short time. Now, as it stands right now, this skill works very weird, and not the way you intended. Iron Bear, I, I, just as far as I know, as, as of posting this video, Iron Bear doesn't proc it himself, so when he fire, when he ignites an enemy, he still consumes fuel. It doesn't mean he doesn't consume fuel, so it's a bit weird. However, if Moe's ignites an enemy, Iron Cub's fuel doesn't get consumed. So it works one way, but not the other, which is a bit weird, but that's just how it is. I don't know if it's intended. I don't know if it's bugged, 
but that's that's how it is so right now wouldn't really say to pick it even if you do use this skill and it is working it might be decent in some builds but i wouldn't pick it once again fuel is fuel economy is not an issue with any decent iron bear build and with the earlier skills in this tree you don't really need this so that's the capstone out of the way and we also have four augments now we have fuel for the fire which is uh, a stat another status effect uh, skill and basically whenever you inflict a status effect you get armor restoration for 12 percent that is very nice for survivability and in an iron bear build or an iron cub build that's focusing on status effect it's a nice skill to have keeps iron cub alive for quite a while but at the same time there's already a lot of ways for iron bear and iron cub to sustain so you don't really need this augment at all so I'd recommend avoiding it in most cases. The next organ we have is Baby Nukes. Basically, Iron Bear's uh, exit animation where it just charges them and explodes. But this time, it just explodes into a nuke. Right now, this damage doesn't scale that well. And Iron Cub itself doesn't get damage scaling in Mayhem levels. So the damage on this is pretty poor. So I'd avoid this skill. I mean, this hard point as well. Moving on to that, we have My Little Friend. Another augment. Spawns Iron Cub with an Incend Rifle. And this can proc Short Fuse. Can proc Minesweeper. Can proc a whole lot of things. But once again, does it get the mayhem scale damage? So the damage of this is also very poor. So <laughs> you can sort of be a pattern here. Any hard point that revolves around doing damage doesn't do well at all because it doesn't get the mayhem scaling. Obviously, if you're playing through the campaign uh, or just early mayhem levels, this might be fine. But in mayhem 10 or 11, you can forget about it. It's not that impactful in the slightest. Finally, we have efficiency engine. This gets gives most increased gun damage the longer Iron Cub has been active. Now, this skill is good on paper, but it caps at 50% gun damage, which in all honesty, considering this is a hard point this far down into the tree, it's not that great. Because when you think about it, you have skills like Drowning and Brass, that after 3 kills gives you 60% gun damage. Considering you have to invest this far down into the Bear Mother tree to get this hard point, I wouldn't say it's worth it. Unless you're already this far down using an Iron Cub build, then pick it. But I wouldn't spec into a build just to exploit this uh, augment, just because the damage bonus isn't that worth it, considering all the investment you have to put in. So yeah, that's basically the tree in a nutshell. That's what I think of it. I'm going to be posting a few more builds about this. I already recently posted an Iron Bear build that's focused on Purple Tree, which is a lot of uptime and a lot of damage, which is really strong. So if you're keen to check it out, it'll be in the top right right now. But yeah, going to be posting a few more Purple builds coming soon. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But yeah, aside from that, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.